Welcome to today's Big Brother Canada updates and spoilers. Our house kiss of the day is Wilson Mathias. Thank you so much for your support on Patreon. You're awesome. And if you guys want to be house guests of the day, we're giving out holla for a dollar. So just check out our Patreon link in the info box below. Thanks. Okay, so yesterday, Jared and Raul had a quick little strategy chat, and Jared is all pissed because Phil is playing both sides. Where have you been? So, Jared was telling Raul that Phil told him that he wants to stay cool with the trio and with Dallas. So he's like, yeah, I'm going to be all, like, buddy-buddy with Dallas, but I just want you to know, like, I'm with you guys. So, Jared is like, I don't effing think so. That's so not cool. Like, he didn't say that to Phil, obviously, but he was saying that to Raul. And he's like, so he thinks that he's just going to, like, do that? Mm -mm. All right, so <laughs> then Jared was telling Kelsey about this whole Phil playing both sides thing, and she tries to spin it. She's like, well, at least he told you what he's doing. Like, he's actually with us anyway. So she definitely um, wants the brothers around because she feels like she's got a good connection with Phil. So she's trying to, like, calm the situation down. So Jared is like, well, we should get rid of Dallas and then get rid of the brothers right after that. And Kelsey's like, well, what if we push, um, oh, she was pushing, sorry, to get LaVita out before the brothers. So she was like, Dallas, LaVita, and then brothers just keep pushing them back. Yeah. All right. So anyway, why does it seem like every season, um, someone tries to do the dirty dancing lift? I feel like it happens every season, and every time I'm just like, like, I don't know why, but it's really fun to watch. <laughs> so this time, Nick was the lifter, and Levita and Nikki were like the main jumpers or lifties, if you will. Um, so they, they did it like a lot, and I'm surprised that Nick wasn't like dying, because he lifted them up so many times. Um, they didn't quite nail it, but it was fun to watch, and they got pretty close a couple times. I don't know why it's so fascinating, but it is. So anyway, Cassandra and Ramsey had a game chat, which was freaking weird because I feel like these two never talk. Like, never even hello. So it was really strange. But Ramsey was telling her that he doesn't really trust Dallas. He's definitely trying to distance himself from Dallas in the eyes of the others. Um, he doesn't want people to think that he's working with him, but I mean, come on. Um, but he's like, yeah, Dallas already betrayed me once. What's going to stop him from doing it again? And then he was saying if he wins the next HOH, he's not really sure who he would put up. But he does say that he's probably not going to put up Maddie, Tim, or Nikki. Cassandra, on the other hand, does not name any targets or, like, safe people or anything. So I'd be a little suspicious of that if I were Ramsey. Okay. So... Lavita and Nikki have been getting very close this week. They're like besties now. Um, they were hanging out up in the HOH room, and they were talking about how they're getting really annoyed that Tim is spending so much time with Cassandra. So Lavita is like, oh yeah, he promised me that he was going to vote her out. I don't think he actually promised, though. But she was saying that he was supposed to vote her out, and now it looks like he's not going to. So she wants him to change his vote, and Nikki's like, there's no freaking way that's going to happen. It's just not. So then they agree that he's being mean. So Levita wants to talk to him later, kind of like straighten things out a bit. We'll come back to that. So Mitch and Joel had a quick game chat, and they let each other know that they're both still planning on keeping Cassandra this week, and they both think that she's going to stay. However, Mitch is hoping that Dallas and his crew, like Maddie and Ramsey, are not going to flip their votes to keep Cassandra. Because sometimes, like, you can be totally against somebody staying, and then you find out that they're going to stay, and you're like, oh, crap, I guess I may as well vote, you know, for them to stay anyway. Just so that you're not on the outside of that vote. Um, so he doesn't want that to happen. He wants those people to still vote Cassandra out so that there is a clearer division in the house and there's less of a chance that Cassandra will work with that group. Oh, Mitchie Poo! He's being, he's being a little puppet master. We'll see if it works. So Tim and Levita have their chat up in the HOH room and she's like, Tim, I just feel like things have really changed between us since the beginning. 
And Tim is like, what? <laughs> Nothing's changed on my part. Um, so she brings up how it looks like he's going to vote for Cassandra to stay. And he's like, I honestly have not decided how I'm going to vote yet. Not so sure about that. Uh, the truthfulness of that. But they were going back and forth about that. Eventually Nikki joins them. And Tim is saying how he's cranky, that people keep misconstruing what he's saying. He doesn't like that. Um, so then they were up there all talking together for a long time. I mean, a long time. I feel like Tim was thinking, oh, I guess I gotta put in some FaceTime with these people so they freaking, like, leave me alone. I don't know. It just seems like he didn't really want to be there. Um, but he was doing what he had to do. It's just, I don't know. So let's talk about this morning. Raul, no, Ramsey and Maddie <laughs> were giving Christine some campaign advice because they want her to stay. So they're like, you need to go talk to Joel and really push that Levita wants you here because Joel and Levita are very tight. Or at least they were at the beginning of the week. I feel like they're kind of drifting a little bit now as Levita is getting closer to Nikki and Joel has been spending a lot more time with Mitch. So Christine's like, yeah, I think you're right. Like, I'm going to work on Joel today. Let's make some magic. So Christine goes and campaigns to Joel and Mitch. Now, this is like, I feel like one of the first times we're really seeing Christine campaign this week. So she's finally getting off her butt and doing the work. So she's telling Joel and Mitch she wants to go after the trio, meaning Jared, Kelsey, and Raul. She's like, those three are never going to vote against each other. Uh, so we got to take them out. And she's like, everybody else is afraid to do it. I'm not. I'll freaking do it. And then after that, I'm going to go after the brothers. So she's telling them, like, she is ready to make moves. And she also lets them know that she wants to work with them. So they're pretty non-committal about the whole thing. We know that they want to keep Cassandra. So they're like, um, well, we'll think about it. And uh, let's talk again later. All right. Um, Nikki's having a really bad day, guys. Like... A bad day so she was upset this morning because she opens up the fridge and she notices that they drank all of her freaking almond milk the vultures drink all of her almond milk and you know what you guys can like joke about it all you want about her freaking out about food but like she does have some food issues um so I it's, I don't know, it's really sad, and I wish people would stop eating her food. So, what is that noise? <laughs> so, <laughs> so Nikki got so upset, she threw her microphone pack, she said she's going home, she starts packing up all of her stuff, and then um, Kelsey and Levita are trying to comfort her, and Kelsey's like, just put your name on your food, like, everyone will respect that, it's an easy solution. It's gonna be okay. Levita's like, you're not leaving, because if you leave, then I'm gonna leave. So then... Nikki also mentions that she's upset because Tim isn't comforting her. Uh, she says that he doesn't care about her. And I guess he made some sort of comment. Uh, it wasn't on the feeds. I don't think so anyway. About how... I think he was joking, but he was like, Big brother, um... <laughs> I'm not gonna do the accent right now. He was like, Big brother, let us all have a party tonight and not invite Nikki. So, like, it was just, you know, pouring salt in the wound. And it wasn't a good uh, comment at the time. So... I think there was another thing he said about how she didn't appreciate how he really um, stuck by her in their first week in the house and comforted her then. So it's just like it's not a good situation between those two right now. So Levita is trying to calm Nikki down. She gives her her show me privileges for the week, the show me app to watch like TV or a movie. I don't know if that's transferable, but <laughs> I don't know. Apparently it's going to be... A allowed. So then Nikki was ranting to Phil about how Tim is a bad friend and how Phil is such a better friend. Um, and it's looking like she's totally jealous of Tim and Cassandra's friendship, flirtation, whatever you want to call it. Um, we saw a little bit of that last night and it's definitely rearing its ugly head today. I would definitely say there's some jealousy there. So meanwhile, Tim is desperately looking for his spider, Marinara who Levita hid from him last night. Yeah, so he's just like, where's Marinara? Um, so <laughs> there was a really awkward confrontation between Levita and Cassandra and Tim. They were just like, where's the spider? Cut the crap. Like, we're not kidding right now. So she finally tells them Marinara's up in the HOH room. And then Cassandra's like, Levita, 
I don't know what the deal is, but I feel like you're being really condescending to me, and it's not cool. So, Levita's just like, what? I'm just trying to have fun with you guys. What? I'm trying to be cool like you guys. So, Cassandra's like, well, I've heard a lot of things that you've said to other people about me this week, and it's not nice, and I was so nice to you when you were on the block. I helped you stay last week, and now you're acting like this. So, Cassandra's like, I can't work with someone who doesn't trust me. Ooh, okay. So Mitch and Dallas were chatting this afternoon, and Mitch was like, you know what? My gut is telling me that we need to keep Christine this week. So uh, it's looking like Mitch is going through with his plan to try and throw Dallas and his crew off so that Dallas will vote for Cassandra to go. I had to think for a second. Um, so I don't think this is for real because it would be totally against everything that he was planning. So it looks like he's trying to get this new plan in motion. Um, so Dallas is just eating this crap up. He's like, yeah, let's work together, Mitch. It's going to be awesome. I'll protect you. Like, let's do this. Oh, that's so sad. Okay, so a little bit of fun. Raul was giving a class in contouring today. So he put some abs on Jared, Phil, and Nick. He did Kelsey's boobs. How, how fun is that? All right, so <laughs> there is an eviction tomorrow, and it's looking like it could be close. Um, there's a lot of crazy stuff going on right now, so I don't know if it's really certain at this point that Cassandra will be staying. It's been looking like that all week, but now I'm not so sure. You never know. Um, and what's going to happen with Tim and Nikki? Are they going to patch things up or what? Because Tim was all like, I don't want to apologize, blah, blah, blah. I have no reason to apologize. So we'll see what happens there. Leave it in the comments who you think is going to go home tomorrow and who you want to go home tomorrow. And until then, much love. Edit. <laughs>